Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Robertson's Belly Acres. <clears throat> this morning, we're going to do something we've done before in a, in a way, but uh, since we got the new pigs in yesterday, we've got a, another small tank water trough here, and we're going to put a pig nipple water in this one as well, kind of like we did for the big pig. The difference is, instead of putting it on the inside of the pen, we're going to set it up so that it's on the outside. Uh, that way, it takes up less pen space. And we don't have to worry about getting in there, cleaning it out. We can do all the clean outs from the outside of the, the pen. Not that we have to worry about our pigs being mean or anything, but just, just keeps us out of their way. This one's a little bit different because when I pulled it apart, oh, let's see, here it is. These are the pig nipple waters that we're using, just like before, but as you see, that's a half inch pipe thread. Unfortunately, we've got a three quarter inch bung that we've re removed. So what we're gonna have to do, made a trip to Orson last night. I said it's gonna be a little bit different this time because what we're doing, we're gonna put this in. I'll dry fit everything to kind of show you what, what's going through my brain. If I can get a start. We're gonna put that in. Put that reducer in there. And then I got us, what is that, a four inch, four and a half inch nipple. And I had to go with a longer nipple because we've got to get out past this lip. That lip sticks out two inches. So we're gonna have to come two inches past that before we can ever get the, the nipple on and get it to pin. We'll screw that in here we'll put a coupler on there and then we'll put our nipple on that that way it's sitting out away from the pin this sticks inside I'm gonna set it so that it's just about right here I don't want to get it real far in there because I don't want them prying on that very much so we're gonna go ahead and get this taken care of we'll put everything back apart And to do this job, you're going to need a three-quarter inch end wrench that fits on the, the pre-cut slots here on the nipple, a small pipe wrench, and some Teflon tape. So we're going to go ahead and put this all together real quick and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so there you have it. Like I said, it doesn't take much. But we're going to go ahead, what I try to do is I try to get this, as you can see it's got a little bit of a, uh, well, let me get this up here. As you can see it's got kind of a cut out half piece of pipe right here, that way it doesn't just let that needle flop all around. And that water will run down there and right into their mouth, so let's go ahead and take this over, try to get our pallet leveled out for this to set on and get some water going and like you see here we've got this small pallet well, we want to get it it's not the best shape but it doesn't have to be we're just trying to keep it up off the ground a little bit we'll kind of move it around here a little bit and let's see that looks fairly level so let's get our tank and set on it
Okay, let me take you over here and show you kind of what we got going. So as you see, we've got our tank set on the pallet and our nipple sticking out there just a little bit. So we're gonna back that up just a little bit away from the fence. As you, I don't know if you can see it or not, but that nipple kind of sitting right there on that fence. So that gives us a little bit of added support. We're gonna go ahead now and get some water in this thing and get these pigs something to drink. Okay, so there we have it. We've got the water running in there. It's not gonna take very long. We'll get some water and make sure that nipple's working. But for those of you that are, have been with us for a while, you know that this is what we've done on this other one over here. Uh, same basic setup. Only difference is I built a platform for that one to set on. I put that nipple on and whole tank on the inside of their pen. And that's what we're trying to avoid now. Hey, that's my leg. So we're going to go back over here. But, you know, that just saves us a little bit of room. Makes it a little bit more convenient for these pigs. Uh, like you saw in the video earlier, they're going to be getting this whole garden here before too long. Our garden's about gone. So, but until then, we're just going to enjoy these little guys. They're pretty docile. They, they don't mind us petting them or being in the pen with them. But also, this, this tank has served a couple different purposes now. Uh, this is the tank we bought when we got our meat birds to use it as a brooder. Uh, they we're no longer, no longer going to be needing that. With any kind of luck, we're going to be building a new chicken coop, and it will have a brooder area built into it. That way we can continue to use these stock tanks for their intended purpose and use it, get lots of water out here. As you can see, these pigs have really gone to town on these vines. They really like them, pea, them uh, green bean vines. They spill a little bit of their feed. They're trying to clean it up. <laughs> They're just as curious about us as we are them at this point. Now let's go ahead and check here. See, all they got to do is up put their nose on that and push it. And right there's the water. And it doesn't take much pressure. They can push it down, up, either side, or even straight in. But that's how they'll get their water, you guys. As you can tell, they're they're starving. Yeah, they're really starving. They've already rooted up a little bit of this pen, but in the next day or two, this will be nothing but dirt. Hopefully this evening I can get in here and get some wire put up on the inside to start training them to the hot fence, and we can turn them out in the next week or two into the garden. Okay, y'all. So... As you can see, oh, right down here, right there, our water trough is almost full. So we're gonna have to get on with the rest of our day. Uh, I hope you like these videos and the how-tos that, that we're doing and showing you what we got going on. If you do, share it with your friends, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and most of all, you guys, leave us some comments and let us know what you're thinking and how you feel about what we're doing. Until then, next time, see ya.